hello friends thank you so much for finding time to tune in to this channel my name is Dallin fee and as usual we have a very interesting presentation today we want to learn how we use the calculator to solve questions involving partial fraction now the first parts in this series is actually going to deal with how to use calculator to solve questions involving non-repeated linear factor and so I want to encourage you to kindly subscribe and as usual if you subscribe you will be able to get notification on all other exciting videos we are sharing on this platform and thank you if you are ready by the end of this presentation we should be able to use calculator to solve any of these questions and other questions that we have not covered here so if you are ready let's start with the first part okay so the first question find the partial fraction decomposition of x plus 11 over x squared minus 2x minus 15 now in order for you to use the calculator you must first and foremost resolve the question into its partial fraction now first if you look at the denominator it is obviously a quadratic and so let's find the root of this quadratic and once we are able to resolve this into its component we should be able to use the calculator to now solve for the question so right so looking at the question now we want to resolve the denominator into its component and so the x squared minus 2x minus 15 we can resolve this using the calculator and so to do so you first press on the mooch and then you pick option three option five that is equation so i pick five and then you see that quadratic equation is option three so you click on three now we want to enter the coefficients okay of the variables in the question so for the x squared its coefficient is one so you enter 1 under A, then you press is equal to. Then for the B, it is negative 2. So we press minus 2, and then you press the equal sign button. And then the C, we have minus 15. So minus 1, 5. Then you press the equal sign button. So you, you repeat the equal sign button again. So when I press it, now I am getting that the first x value is positive 5 and then the second x value is negative 3. So that is how we resolve the quadratic into each component. So when I move my calculator, you see that I have actually resolved that. And so when I go back, you see the first x value is 5. That means we have x minus 5 and then the second x value is minus 3. So we have x plus 3. So that is the first thing that you need to do before you can now use the calculator. Okay, so now that we have been able to resolve this question into eight components, we should be able to now resolve it into partial fraction. So basically, the same thing you see here, we have it here. x plus 11 and then divided by x minus 5 and then x plus 3 remember that this is the root of this quadratic um, expression that we see here now we are going to now resolve this into partial fraction and so the first denominator x minus 5 it will be given a numerator of e so we see it here and then the second denominator that is x plus 3 will also be given a numerator of b and so we have been able to resolve this function into the partial fraction now that we are able to do this once you are done with this now your calculator will now come in to help you to determine the value of a and then the value of b so basically that is how we use the calculator to solve questions about partial fraction so for me to now use my calculator Remember, I have now put it in quadratic mode. So I have to clear the calculator. To do that, you press on shift, you press 9, and then you press 3, and then you click on equal sign button. That means I have now cleared the calculator 
from the earlier quadratic function okay so now let's now solve the question using calculator now we are going to deal with this using the cover-up method what does the cover-up method means now you see that the a has a denominator of x minus 5 and then the b also has a denominator of x plus 3 now for the cover-up method if you are looking for the value of a you will need to cover the denominator of a and you are doing so for the one on the left hand side we are not going to cover the right hand side but we will rather cover the one on the left hand side so for example if i cover x minus 5 remember x minus 5 is the denominator for a that means once i cover this it means i am looking for the value of a then when i am looking for the value of b i will also cover x plus 3 okay and that will also help me get the value of b so now okay, so now this is the cover up method that we are talking about so basically this is how it works if you are going to look for the value of a you will cover the denominator of a on the left hand side of the identity symbol so once you cover this meaning you are now going to look for the value of a and if you are looking for the value of b you remove the cover from this side and then instead you will cover this one and that will also mean you are going to look for the value of b so now we pull the calculator remember whatever you cover meaning when you are entering on the calculator you are not going to enter the covered um figure so we are now going to enter what you see on the left hand side so we are going to cover we are going to enter this on the calculator without the covered one so i put my calculator and definitely what you see or here is a fraction so we click on the fraction button then we have x plus 11 so alpha x plus 11 then you move down the cursor down so we we are having x plus 3 so you go back alpha x and then plus 3 so plus 3 okay so that basically this is what we have entered on the calculator then after entering this on the calculator you now move on to the right hand side of the identity symbol i mean this so i am i covered the x minus 5 because i am looking for the value of a now you ask yourself what value of x when you substitute here will make this side zero so for example if i place 5 here 5 minus 5 will make this one zero so that means i am going to solve this when x is equal to 5 so you press the calc button okay so you are going to press the calc button so i press the calc button then it is asking you what value of x will make this part zero and obviously if i put five here this will be zero so i am going to enter x is equal to five so basically you press five and then you hit the equal sign button that means the a value is going to be two it's as simple as that so it means that the a value is going to be two now in order for you not to forget let's save it on the calculator so how do we save you press the shift and then you press the store okay and then let's assign this to a that means i have assigned this to a meaning a is equal to two now that we have determined the value of a we now have to move to determine the value of b so this time around we are now going to uncover this and then instead we are going to cover the b um, denominator so let so now to find the value of b we have to still go back to the left hand side and then we cover the denominator of b remember here the b has a denominator of x plus 3 so on the left hand side we are going to cover the x plus 3 that means we are going to look for the b value now after covering this we are now going to enter this expression on the calculator thankfully already we have it here so i am only going to edit it and so the top one is x plus 11 and then the down one is supposed to be x minus 5 
so let me edit the down one so i move down so you press the cursor downwards and then you just delete the tray and i place the minus five okay so i now have x plus 11 over x minus five now it is important for you to understand that at all times you are entering the item on the left hand side of the identity symbol so this is what i've entered and so with this one you press on calc so you press calc and it is asking you what value of x will make the b undefined what value of x will make the b undefined and so i am looking for b so i come to the b here on the right so what value of x will make this part zero you can see that if i put negative three here and i have negative three plus three that will be zero so the value that the calculator is asking me is going to be negative three so you press on minus and then you press three and then it's equal to so calculator is now telling us that the b value is going to be one now i want to save this to b so how do i save you press on shift you press the record and then you assign it to b okay so now i have finished working with my calculator now i want to be sure of what i've done so remember that we save something at a so how do i reproduce that you press record and then you press a so that means that a is two and then the b how do i see what i saved you press record and then you press b and so the b is one so basically we are now getting b a is equal to two and then the b is equal to negative one so when we go back to what we did in place of the a we are putting two there and then in place of the b we are putting negative one but because a is negative one it means it will affect this positive sign here that is how come we are getting negative at this area so in short when you are to resolve this into partial fraction you are actually going to get two over x minus two minus one over x plus three and so which of the possible answers here fit into the answer we got and so it is obvious when you go through it you can see that the option c is the correct one and so with this our first question has been solved using calculator and we want to solve the second question to give us better understanding of what we are doing